Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. And I just noted that while in the last episode we were dashing off into out of space, that um, we've got these various milestones have been complete. So, accept the gravity center influence, 27,000. Fly by the sun, this much. Enter orbit of the sun, this much. Also, um, we did the scan of Kerbin. <laughs> that went off in the background. Um, day five, apparently, so it didn't take us very long. But there's the big map. Um, and then if we refresh it, you will now see that it is a very, very full map. Still some tracks yet to be completed, but that's looking pretty good. We've also got this bit of territory down here that we can't, we're never going to get to, but, yeah. Resources we don't have. We don't have the detail for the legend. <laughs> it's a pretty simple thing, so yeah. Um, hmm. We've got the map up done. Which means actually that we've cycled oh, quite a few of our contracts around. So we've got a couple interesting ones we're going to have a look at today. We've got Tester's heat shield splashed down at Kerbin. Yes. Oh, Tester's man. decoupler splashed down at Kerbin. Yes. So we're going to do that. <laughs> um, we are however going to walk to the next morning. Dunsky, Thank you very much. It's always better to do these things in the day. So, we want a little Probodyne, because we don't really want to risk a crew. We have various payloads. We have a Rocket Max brand decoupler. You want us to test that splash down. We also want us to test a heat shield, which is the under thermal. 0.625 heat shield. Done. So we need to land that in the water. So we will need a basic fuel tank. So your testing, run test, activate through staging. All right, so we'll need to make sure that we run that one first. And then we will need a cheap engine. We'll take the swivel. And frankly, that should be enough. Oh, parachute. <laughs> Utility. Oh, a load of lights. Very interesting. Radial amount parachutes. Don't think we'll need four of them. I think two will be more than enough. All right, this is about as S P L A S H. Splashdown two. I think we've done a splashdown one, a previous splashdown test previously. Previously, 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 is this noise, I, yes, words, language, all the rest of these things. You, um, go be in the water. Fire in that order, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. Let's um make sure it is most definitely splashed down. And that'll be a massive G pull. This is mostly air. There's not a lot actually in this said rocketry here. The parachute opening up. Alright, come on, get down on the ground. Don't have all day. Let's see what other tasty contracts we've got. Need to remember not to push buttons in the wrong order. <laughs> Let's face it, if I stage the Rocker Max. Alright, untime warp. So, you are both now tested. So, this run test completes that contract. And this completes the other one. So that got us 12,000, that got us 13,000. So we will recover the vessel. Now there shouldn't be both of them, because um, they are separate parts. So 
So we got a little bit of cash back, but there's the rest of it. <laughs> Let's um, get that bit of crap back. All right, that was a couple of extra quick contracts. After burning turbo fan in flight above Kerbin, maybe. Test the heat shield at the launch site. Test the radial decoupler at the launch site. I know these things aren't necessarily that interesting, what they are doing is building up a body of cash to, so I can buy more expensive things with. You, go away. Uh, I just need one of those. So, heat shield. Large. Doink. Radial decoupler. Doink. Save. Dull. Test. Alpha. Save. Launch. I will probably be going through in the not too distant future and clearing out some of the junk we've got here. Alright, so you. Run test. Done. You require me to stage. Alright. Boing. It's essentially, at this point in time, a small missile launcher. Thank you very much. Go away. So I earned four grand for that, and four grand for that. Thank you very much. Recover that bit of debris. Hopefully I didn't break anything with the decoupler. Thank you. What else have we got? Test that splashdown. Suborbital. Position of satellite. We've got a lot of touristy stuff here. Um... How much rep have we got? Not a fair bit. Um, I'm not interested in that one. I'm not interested in that one. So... Give me more touristy ones. Alright. Robomax Model S2 went on an escape trajectory out of Kerbin's orbit. That's a hall. That's another splashdown. That's a suborbital. Do you want me to test an ant? When I'm in a suborbital trajectory between those altitudes. Alright, well, let's have a look at this one. Position a satellite. Wow, alright. 27,000 kilometers by 27,000 kilometers. An inclination of 14.9. That one I think we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, that might be an interesting challenge. So we need unplanned probe with an antenna and power. Reach the orbit, have a thermometer, maintain stability. Okay, I think I can probably do that. I don't think we'll be able to also make it do the ant at that one. And your orbit is very different for a polar one. I don't think... Roby Max Model S2. I'm assuming that's a wheel. You want me to strap a wheel and then bung it out of the solar system? Okay. Let's do the specific orbit. Alright then. To the bay! Uh, go away. <laughs> uh, new. New? Cancel. Alright, fine. Ding. New. Uh, don't save. Thank you. Alright. So we need a Brubadine. Um, well, let's start with our craft that went. Science roller. The orbital stack celebrator. Nothing concerning wrong with this vessel. Alright. We have a thermometer. Yes. have 
a Commutatron 16. We have four volta voltaic power jennings. It is an unmanned probe. We were able to put this thing into a solar orbit, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Query, do we want to carry anything else aboard? Not really. I mean, the only question I've currently got is... Could we potentially increase our efficiency? That's a big no to Just looks silly. <laughs> I like the idea of putting a little nose cone on it, but it just looks so silly. <laughs> um, so no. So this will be. Um, you have a name for this thing? Let's get rid of the short contract thing. Have a thermometer. Designated orbiter anchor with minimal deviation. Let's just keep pushing buttons till we're right. Alright, well, we're good, we've got no problems. Um, we we're able to put this satellite yonder into the distance, so I'm pretty happy. We just need to name it. Um, contract SAT 1. Save and launch. Alright, so we'll piss around with the inclination once we're in orbit. Um, for the simple reason that I don't want to get it wrong. Um, I don't want to go the wrong direction and end up with the wrong answer. So, um, we have an antenna, have a thermometer, maintain stability. So, we need to achieve that orbital parameters. Go time. Let's get some stability. Let's tilt over just a little bit, now we're going a bit fast enough. Inclination is increasing a little bit, I'll worry about that once we're on the other engine. Yep, I'm happy for you to decrease slightly in speed, that'll correct itself pretty soon enough. We go. Alright, still so increasing our inclination a little bit, so we'll just nudge that down. Speed is increasing gently and nicely, uh, decreasing our inclination. Wait till we're off 20 kilometers and then we'll go for throttle up. Bring it over to about here. So we've still got a bit of atmosphere, you can see it's correcting itself, but we're good, full power. Let's uh, tilt that so we've got some space so I can see my numbers. Bring us up to a nice fast orbit. Let's flatten this off a lot now, so we come in nice and smooth. It's not that, not that. It's a bit too smooth. I do want this to go up first. All right, let's um throttle down a bit. All right, there's eighty. My inclination is pretty flat. Let's flatten. Oh, no, of course. Craft in its current mode it takes a bit of getting moving. And we will get this to apoapsis. Time warp will be in space soon. So there's our target orbit. 
So what we'll do is we'll get it out to meet those points, and then we'll just the inclination as the last bit. Alright, let's get you pointing. Come on. Here we go. A bit slow to move at this point. There she is. We're probably going to run out of fuel. There we go. Alright. And engage. So I am just going to let this burn out until we hit an apparatus of the 27th hour. Beyond the orbit of the Mun. Too far. We'll fix that later. All right. Now we need to get out to there. Whoops. Thank you, Antenna. <laughs> so I didn't have any controls. You are really far out. <laughs> right, we're about an hour from Apoapsis. Really lost control. We just beyond the range. Can I fire the engines at this point or not? Can. All right. So I just shrunk the apoapsis. I can't turn us around. All right. So I'm going to call this a learning episode. Um, I can't actually fix this. We are re-entering now. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. We don't have control out of this altitude. So it turns out that that is just the limit to what we've got control. So if you go too far, we're screwed. So next time, next episode, I won't make quite such an awful mistake. Um, so let's go back to the Space Center. And yeah, well, that's that done. Fine. Um, we'll go to the tracking station. Contract sat one, and we will terminate you. Because there's nothing more that can be done. So that was a shame, but that was a learning opportunity. So, contract. Uh -huh. Current active contract will earn us 96,000, and that aborted launch costs us 11,000. So, we're still on course to make money. I just need to be really careful. With that in mind, actually. We've got an antenna with better range. There we go. Not what we were anticipating, but let's get rid of the Commutron 17 and let's put an HG5 high gain. I'm just going to assume that those numbers mean better things. Um, there we go. You are enormous. Uh, 
All right. That's contract sat. 1A. Save. All right. Launching that will be the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. This has been the Kerbal Space Program with its various and interesting problems. Um, mostly, the, we went out beyond the communication range, and then I didn't have the thing pointing in the right direction, so we died horribly. Um, none of these things. I mean, there's that. Test landed. 2.5 meter heat shield landed. All right, fine. I can do that in 30 seconds. In fact, I think I'm pretty sure I've got heat shield chest. Load. Yeah, apparently I've already done this one, so they're paying me money to go, uh, we didn't get the readings we want. Uh, run test. Done. Thank you. Recover. Alright, I've been the marmoset. That was nice and cheap, easy cash. I'll see you later. Oh, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Particularly if you've got any suggestions on how I can not screw up quite so much, and what I can do with all this money. Bye!